Many churches use Planning Center Online to plan their services and gatherings, and now in ProPresenter 5, you can easily import that playlist inside ProPresenter. Inside Planning Center, you'll see that I have a playlist here with a few different songs as well as a few other items. Now to integrate this inside ProPresenter, I'm going to switch back. I'm going to go to ProPresenter and I'm going to go to Preferences. Now underneath the network settings, you'll see Planning Center Online. You're going to need to log into your account and authenticate that ProPresenter can make changes. After you've done that, you can set a few different settings here for uh, checking for updates, uploading documents, matching songs in the library, as well as showing historical service plans, which basically allows you to see uh, services from the past or only services coming in the future. Now, if we go to the lower left corner, we can create a new Planning Center Online playlist. This is going to show us all of our service types and any plans inside those services. So I'm going to grab my service and it's going to look for matches in the library. Now you can see here, I'll move this over so we can see a little better. You can see that we have a new icon showing that this is a Planning Center Online playlist and we have a warning here for attachments. This allows us to go through and either upload these files to Planning Center, which will upload and attach this ProPresenter 5 Mighty to Save file to our Planning Center Online database or to ignore it. For now, I'm just gonna ignore. And now you can see in here that we have all of our different songs. Now we have a few different items here as well as Mighty to Save. It's found in my library and it's automatically attached it. However, all I need is you, it couldn't find because I accidentally named it all I need. So all I have to do is drag this in here and now it's added it to my playlist. And you can see all my other songs are available as well. The new Planning Center Online playlists are also dynamic, so if you make changes to Planning Center Online, it's going to update it inside ProPresenter. So inside Planning Center, we're gonna add a new song. We're gonna add Christ is Risen. And we'll just add this to our list here. And so now you can see this has been added and maybe we're gonna do this uh, after life together. So then we're gonna switch back inside ProPresenter. I'm gonna click on my Planning Center Online playlist. You're gonna see that it's gonna go search for the update and I'm gonna hit update. And now we can see that Christ is Risen has been added into our playlist.